So you know how R. Kelly said in that one song, you know I don't usually do this. That's the way I'm gonna start this video. You know I don't usually do this. But tonight we gonna do it. Tonight we are going to give a thanks to my brother Brandon, who gave me this cigar that we are gonna be smoking tonight. I'm trying to get my focus together cause all that going in and out of focus, that was driving me up a damn wall. I don't know how it was driving y'all, but it was driving me up a wall. But anyway, tonight, Brandon hooked me up with the C80 Flathead, the V23. Pooze for the thumbnail, wholesale Lee Mac. Put it right there too, uh. And put one right over there in front of your face, uh. The CAO Flathead from General Cigar. This is the V23 Mark 1 660. Now, one of the things that I don't normally do is smoke a 660. That's a negative. One of the other things I don't usually do is do a V cut, but you know, since I'm feuding with my moderator these days, I'm gonna do a V cut in her honor. We got a V cut coming tonight. And, what else don't I usually do? I don't know. I, I'll, give me a minute, I'll think about it. But anyway, this cigar was uh, keeping in line with the automotive theme. This V23 is a tribute to the GT40 series, which is Ford's classic American race car that became famous by dominating the 24 hours of Le Mans car race in 1966 through 1969. In that 1966 race, the GT40 Mark II broke Ferrari's era of dominance and it made the car a legend. So this one is measured six by 60. It's made with the signature blocky box press. You see that box press? Oh, and I forgot to tell you, there's your density. It's got that blocky box press and it's got the flat head thing. And so normally on the flat head, I would do maybe a punch but I'm not gonna do a punch. She got a little piece of dark tobacco on her, that's cute. Uh, this one's got a Honduran wrapper, Nicaraguan binder and filler from Honduras and Nicaragua. Uh, I think this is a stronger cigar, I don't know, but I did make sure that I ate. Uh, like most CAO cigars, the MK1 660 is produced in Nicaragua at the STG Esteli factory. So even though I am still gonna do my uh, V cut, you know how I feel about you. <laughs> Y'all hang on. tell you I got to get this bad boy cut up and start to smoke it because it's so damn big. Whew. I don't like the feel of it in my mouth. Look at that. It's just like a big square block. I don't like the way that feels in my mouth at all. But we're going to see if it affects the smoke. It's got a pretty light draw for such a big cigar. I'm going to say like sweet tobacco. All right, family. Brother Dexter, we're going to light this thing up and we're going to get it cranking. I need to get me more than a couple of jets here. Oh, I got three, cause this is a big fat ass cigar. But you know, before we do that, we go you higher we want to take you higher we gonna take you higher i gotta get this thing crunked the hell up because if it takes a long time to smoke i'm gonna have a problem because this is gonna be getting close to my bedtime so anyway here we go 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 let's go y'all So 
big across the face. It's so big, it's just hard to get it lit all the way around. CAO Flathead the V23. I usually suggest the CAO Flathead series for those who come into the shop who like a powerful cigar. They typically, the other ones have some broad leaf in it. This one, not so much, I guess, I don't know. Honduran wrapper. Yeah, I've been liking Honduran. You know, the uh, Chicharrone had the Honduran wrapper on. I believe two of my cigars had Honduran on it, so I like that. Binders, Nicaraguan. Honduras and Nicaraguan. Now, one of the things that I said about this cigar was I had to make sure that I uh, ate because I figured it was going to be a strong cigar. Blah, 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 blah. Up front, not so much. But I also feel like I'm having a hard time getting it lit very well all the way around. So I'm, my wrapper, I'm gonna use a single flame here. But I gotta hold it down here because I can't see up there. Very nice draw. It is a box press 660. I'm gonna get over the fact that it's so wide in a second, but I really don't like the way it feels in my mouth. It takes away from my smoking experience because I don't, I don't, I don't want to be doing that for the next hour or so. I'm gonna tell you that this feels kind of mild. And I'm gonna say kind of bland right up front. So I'm gonna say mild and bland. But what's sneaking in is a titch of pepper. So mild and bland while, whilst sneaking in a titch of pepper. Good smoke output, the rabbit air has cranked up the full turbo speed. But it feels like there's a whole lot missing. Like, hey Ron, I feel like I got a whole lot of filler, but I need some more killer. So we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna sit on back, we're gonna smoke this a little bit. We're gonna find something to put in the glass. Um, and then we'll see what we do with this. All right, we'll be back. All right, family, this one was like uh, uh, an old car. It took her a little while to get started up and warmed up and start doing what she's supposed to do. Great smoke output. Retro hell. Nice pepper. Do I get anything else besides pepper though? Definitely is a peppery finish, sweet tobacco. And even though this is a big six by 60 cigar, I'm getting the feeling like I think it's gonna smoke fast. It's leaving the uh, peppery finish. I still feel like it's missing the middle. It's missing, missing some creaminess or something in the core. $13.99 MSRP. Uh, just look at a couple of sites and see what we think. Let's go out of space here. Out of space, 1330. If we go out of space, it's 1330. If we go over to those private people, it's 1399. That's MSRP.
Let's see how much it costs over at the hotel. Over at the hotel, five pack, 70 bucks. So five pack, 70 bucks, 30, 60. Yeah, it's probably around that same price. So, you know, we'll see. I see myself getting bored with this before I get to the end of it, though. I really do. It ain't bad. Strength feels like it's kind of sneaking up in there. It's a medium. I think this is going to be like a full strength type of cigar. It might be a heavy nicotine bomb. I don't know, which is one of the reasons why I tend not to smoke these uh, CAO flatheads. They are suggested for me by me for some people who like that type of cigar. But I like the little spark plug, it's pretty cool. Little small ones, I gotta take that nicotine in small doses. I should, probably shouldn't have said that word. Maybe I have to put the beep. I don't know, family. Sometimes, you know, you see little kids and they'll, they'll come and they'll say, they picking on me. Sometimes it make you wonder, say, dag, is they picking on me or what? I don't know. But you know, um, it's just weird. It's like some folks are like crabs in a barrel. If they can't do what you do, then they ain't gonna let you do it either. They gonna figure out a way to try to drag you back down into the daggone barrel. You see you trying to escape, we gonna pull you back down. Shout out to my brother Matt Bailey and Jason Ritchie. I just talked to both of them brothers tonight and uh, Matt gave me a piece of news. I gotta go over here and be messy. <laughs> I'm gonna be nosy. We'll be back, y'all hang on. Now it's interesting, another site says that this thing, uh, the V23 includes a fillers from Brasilia Matafina, Honduras, Viso from Pomestron, and Nicaragua, which is Viso from Jalapa and Lijero from Esteli. A robust combo bound in a Habano leaf Nicaraguan. Which gives it some more spice. And finalized with a plush wrapper from the Homestron value of Valley of Nicaragua. It's just funny how you get different information. But that filler, uh, Brazilian Matafina. It seems like it's got a, uh, it's got a uh, good dose of different stuff. <sighs> Brazilian Matafino, it's got Viso from Hamastron, so that's not the bottom primings. It's got Viso from Nicaragua and Lijero from Esteli, so it really should be middle up, middle up, so it should be doing something. I gotta find something to put in my glass. I said that last time. All right, family, I've been on a little ride kick. So we're gonna have from Baltimore, the Sagamore Spirit. This is an eight year ride. It's a very good ride. Uh, it's been aged for eight years in charred oak barrels. Salute. All right, family, smoking the CAO V23. I will say this, that the cigar, big ring gauges tend to burn pretty well. I had to sit this down and go inside for about 10 minutes. I came back out, puffed it, and it's still lit. So she is still burning well. The taste, however, I'm gonna put my comment down here. My comment is gonna say this, too much filler. Cigar is too big, family, for me. You gotta add tobacco in there to get that big size or whatever and 
I don't know if all of the top premium tobacco is added in there when they do that, or if it's, I don't know, this says it's all Viso. Cigar's got several things going against it for me, all right? It's $14. I don't think this is no $14 cigar. Uh, it's not smoking like a $14 cigar. I don't, I don't care for it. And I've loved some of the flathead lines, but this ain't gonna be it for me. This is one of them things where you know, you know better, and this is one of them things where I say, I should've known better. When I said in the beginning of the video, I don't usually do this, there's a reason why I don't usually do this. It's the reason why I don't usually smoke big, fat, 60 ring gauge cigars, because I don't particularly like them. It ain't for me. If something ain't for you, then you kind of need to learn to stay away from those things that ain't for you. But you know how it is. There'll always be somebody in the comments saying, Lee Mac, can you smoke the six by 60 so-and-so, so-and-so? Don't ask me no more, because I ain't smoking six by 60. I just don't like 660. To me, it's just, a lot of filler that doesn't have a lot of flavor. The flavor of the wrapper is lost because of all of this fill, filler that's in here. It's just overwhelming it. It just ain't gonna be for me. Yeah, I don't like the price. Right now, if I'm giving the price a number, I'm giving it like a 2.9. We'll see if that changes. It tastes like average bundle, average cheap, average. It don't taste like good tobacco. It tastes like cheap tobacco, if you ask me. Now, somebody from General will say, oh, we've got this special, this special, that, that we put into this cigar. I don't think you did. I think that's what you want us to believe, but hey, listen, we ain't, we ain't, gonna, we ain't gonna believe that. Now, somebody will disagree with, agree with me. If you smoke this, you love the CAO Flathead V23, come on in the comments, leave me a comment and say, hey, Lee Mac, I think you're wrong. Definitely a lot of smoke, but not a lot of flavor. I'll just sip on my ride. Maybe I need more ride to make the cigar taste better. I don't know. My mama have a saying that she says, and she says everything ain't for everybody all the time. Just cause it's for somebody else don't mean it's for you. You know, your mama used to say things like that. He tell you, you say, yeah, but Jimmy and Johnny and them was doing it. Mary and Susie was doing it. And she would say something like this. If they jumped off a bridge, you would jump off too. Like, just don't be stupid. Be smart. Stay in your lane. You know where your lane is. Shout out to my brother Smoke. Uh, Smoke. Stone from the Smoke World Podcast. If you haven't checked him out on Smoke World Podcast, he's on IG, TikTok, all over the place. Smoke World Podcast. He's not on uh, the tubes because they kicked him off, but check him out. Smoke World Podcast. Wherever you find your favorite podcast, you can find the Smoke World Podcast. Yeah, he's a funny cat. <laughs> he's a funny cat, Stone. All right, all right, all right, family. I usually try to get on down to the end of a cigar before I put it down, but I tell you all the time, if you're smoking a cigar and the cigar is not good, put it down. This cigar ain't doing good for me at all. I don't like the flavor. Um, it just tastes like tobacco, minerally finished. It just don't taste good, it tastes cheap to me. It tastes cheap. Now, I don't know what cheap is, but that's what, it. this tastes cheap to me. And don't taste $14 worth of cigar. And my money comes from hard work. And uh, uh, yeah, no, I'm not gonna be spending my money on that again. That's not good to me. 
that ain't a good cigar. I'm just gonna call it like I see it. I'm gonna say it like it. T.I. is, that ain't good. And I've liked Flatheads. Well, I think there was another one I said the same thing about, like, mm -mm, that ain't it. So anyway, we're gonna cut this short, family. I'm gonna sit on back. I'm gonna find me something else to smoke. I'm gonna smoke one of my own doggone cigars. That's what I'm gonna do, because I know it's a good cigar. For the price, $13.99, I'm gonna give it a 2.9. Uh, flavor 2.75, construction of five. Overall smoking experience less than average 2.8, which makes this a 3.3, which is surprising to me, but it is what it is. Slightly over average on the Lee Mac 912 scale, but I, I think this whole thing should be under a three, but that's the way the chips fall. That's the way the cookie crumbles. So I gotta give it what it has. <sighs> Family, today was another great day. Problems? Yeah, got some problems. Got some stuff I'm trying to work out. Got some stuff that's kind of got me down. Got some stuff that's making me struggle. We all have struggles. Sometimes you gotta stand on your principles. Sometimes you gotta compromise. The wise man knows when to do each. Sometimes you gotta do a little bit of uh, giving in, a little bit of compromising. Sometimes you gotta also stand on your principles a little bit, so it is what it is. Every day when you wake up in the morning, you gotta say to yourself, today is gonna be another great day. Why? Because the subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between truth and a lie. Just because the sun is not shining and it's not looking like a great day doesn't mean that it's not a great day. When you tell your subconscious mind it's a great day, it believes that. So, another great day it was, family. 16 years I've been saying that, and I'm gonna keep on going with my streak. Lee Mac 912, we'll see you next time. Hey, Brandon, thanks for the cigar, but bro, I don't want another one of them. <laughs> I still love you though, bro. Peace.